I was diagnosed October 24th, 2011. I felt a lump that kept getting, getting bigger, and I said, I better go. I waited four months before I just got frustrated to, to find out what was wrong with me. At the time, I had no insurance. They needed additional views, and my insurance wasn't going to pay for it. I just lost my job, and I wasn't working, didn't have any insurance, and um, it, it was just a really difficult time. My friend Lola said, "You maybe you could go and uh, contact Libby's Legacy, because they do nonprofit and they could do all the exams. With the help of um, Robin Maynard, um, the director and founder of Libby's Legacy, with the help of her, um, I was able to get the mammogram and sonogram, I was able to get the biopsy, and she fought for me to um, go to the hospital. She was totally there for me to the point where she, you know, she found the doctors. All I had to do was show up and um, be at the appointments and be willing to accept the help. We had to go through the mammogram, the ultrasound, the biopsy, and then the diagnosis, follow-up. Everything happened within like two and a half weeks. It literally felt like my files, my application, everything was floated by angels throughout every department. Robin has touched so many lives because her mother died of breast cancer. I don't want to give my daughter that reason to help people in the world. She left her career to start this nonprofit organization, and this organization is run by volunteers. None of these people get paid at all. They spend a lot of time raising money to benefit women that has no insurance and cannot afford it. There are a lot of agencies out here that raise funds to find a cure. And that's great, and we need that, but there's so many women out here who actually need more of a direct help. Libby's legacy is allowing me to acknowledge myself as a survivor. I think that's the beauty of the small local organization. Libby's legacy has been in my corner from day one, and I'm so grateful, and I know they will continue to be there for me. We're definitely a family now, and all I could do is pay it forward to somebody else, and that's what we gotta do. It was just like an angel sent from heaven to help me, because what else would I have done? I grew up with my mother never having breast. I mean, losing her at 17 was a pivotal part in my life, and now, today I'll fight for her, I'll fight for Libby, I will fight for all women. I'm gonna win this fight, because I got Libby's legacy in my corner the whole way.